After spending six amazing weeks in the beautiful country of Malaysia, we have finally moved on to our next destination, which is the country of Singapore. So we have decided to start our day at one of the most iconic spots here in Singapore, which is the Gardens by the Bay, and then maybe later on go check out the city. So we are only here for a few days, so it is going to be a flying visit, but we cannot wait to get out and explore the city and see if it lives up to its name, and hopefully we'll be able to explore it on a backpacker's budget. So we've also decided to pick ourselves up some city bikes today. They're scattered all over the city, super easy to get, and they only cost $1 for every 30 minutes. So by the end of today, we will let you know what our total cost has been. Hey. So we've just come across this big fish aquarium here behind us and it is so so cool there's some really weird fish in here but in the bay the garden bay itself there's loads of free things to do and paid things but today we're going to focus on what free things we can check out oh my, oh my god. god he's trying to bite him do you see that he bit him That's not that. Right beside the Big Fish Aquarium, there's also a full roofed-in cactus garden here, which is such a cool place to come and walk around that has so many different species of cactus and different plants here. And it's absolutely wicked. Every corner we walk around in this whole kind of garden area, we're finding something new that we didn't expect to be here. And it's been such a good day out so far. Ashton getting that perfect shot. There's two lizards going on. Two lizards? <gasps> Sometimes there's a job that's just got to be done. Okay, we'll be going another bit. A little bit further. We'll loads to see, loads to do. You haven't got too far at all. <laughs> In the gardens here, there's also a cloud forest and a flower dome, which are both like inside kind of areas as in like these big massive glass pod looking things. They are very, very cool looking, but unfortunately we're not gonna go check them out today just because there's loads of other things we do wanna see. Plus you do pay entrance to both of them as well. And I think they're quite expensive. So we're gonna skip over them, but they do look very, very cool. And hopefully if we come back to Singapore again in the future, we'll be able to do them then. completely underestimated the size of the gardens by the bay there is so so much to do here you literally could spend all day here we've just entered into a wetlands here which is massive there's loads of different species of birds and fish and loads of signs to be read but unfortunately we have so much more to check out today so we're gonna have to hit the road see a few other things and then get into the city over to the main attraction here by the gardens of the bay and that is the super tree grove right behind me here they are so cool so impressive and honestly so futuristic if you don't know much about singapore or haven't heard much about the country you still have probably seen a picture of these trees right behind me here So every day, a quarter to eight and quarter to nine in the evening time, there's a full light performance done here in the gardens by the trees. So that's where we're gonna finish our day out. So we're gonna have a wee quick walk around here now just to check out a few more things, then head into the city and hopefully finish out the day here back in the gardens watching the light performance by the trees. So we also just found this free water filter right in the gardens here by the super trees. So we're getting free water topped up as well. It's lovely and cold, so we'll save a few pounds there also. <laughs> also absolutely roasting today so I think our next stop is ice cream. Ice cream! <laughs> ice cream! You scream! We, we all scream, scream for ice cream! cream. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. Weird. Weird big baby. <laughs> Weird big naked baby in the middle of the park. <laughs> Why not? Why not indeed? It's massive! Huge big baby! So if 
every time we've tried to leave the park now, we've just stumbled upon like a full other section. Honestly, it is massive, but we are gonna make a move, try and find the exit somehow. But yeah, this is just such a cool place to come and hang out. And for people like me, there's actually quite a bit of shaded parts as well. So you can hide from the sun if you want to. So we thought this would be a good time just to very quickly mention accommodation here in Singapore as well. Accommodation in general is a lot, a lot more expensive than what we're normally paying to be honest. But at the minute we've managed to get a hostel that's only costing us £25 sterling per night, which we're actually really, really happy about. And it's a kind of a, its own way kind of compartment, nearly capsule type of thing. It's very cool, really, really cozy bed and we're very, very happy with the whole situation. But this by a long shot was the cheapest accommodation we could get anywhere. It also included breakfast, which we are really happy about. So that saved us buying another meal today. So we were able to stock up at breakfast with different bits of food and a bit of coffee and then hit the road. And hopefully that'll do us until dinner time this evening. And we finally made it out. Nearly out. Yeah. <laughs> we're close. At the moment we are directly underneath the Marina Bay Sands Hotel here and it is huge. It's so, so much bigger than what we thought now that we're actually at the bottom of it. Just looking straight up onto it, it is just absolutely insanely massive. Way bigger than what we originally thought when we seen it from the distance. But don't get me wrong, it's still big from the distance too. Such an impressive building, so, so fancy, so modern. Very posh, like look at this big Rolls Royce just taking past me. Don't think it's mine and Ashley's price budget anyway, so we're gonna have to skip this one unfortunately. Such a cool building though, and a really, really cool place to come and check out. We just can't believe how big it is. Maybe someday. Maybe someday. <laughs> <laughs> So we've just made our way over to the promenade here, but the whole place is honestly just so, so built up. Everywhere you look, there's these massive, massive buildings. But we're gonna head down this way and maybe make our way towards the city now and just check out all the buildings while we go by. Hey. hey. What is this? We have no idea what this is, so if anybody actually does, it'd be great if you let us know. It looks like a lotus, so I'm thinking it's something to do with all like, the lotuses that are... Like a flower ornament yeah, or a building? But something. If you could know. tell us, that would be great. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've just made our way around to the front of the building, and it's actually an art science museum, so that's pretty cool. But if you know what's inside, let us know in a comment below, because we're, we're really intrigued, but we'll have to keep going. <laughs> Very cool building, though. cycling up and down the promenade here and just behind us is actually like an outdoor theatre thing. We were walking by here last night and it was actually a jazz band that sat down and watched them for a few hours. It was really fun and it was free. It was a great way to spend our first evening here in Singapore. Oh, badly needed but I'm ready to go now. <laughs> Bottle of coke in the bag. Let's go. Let's go. Very cool, we've just come to the shopping centre, don't have a clue what it's called, but you can actually cycle your bike through it, well we thought you could anyway, but you're only allowed to through 8am to 10am I think it is, which must be like rush hour, so maybe it's like a shortcut for people to get to work, we don't know, but it's pretty cool, so we just pushed our bikes the whole way through the shopping centre, something I've never done before, been allowed to do before anyway. We needed a bit of a pick meal. It was 5.50 in total, so we were absolutely buzzing with that. So we're gonna get stuck in. Oh. Mm. Mm. 
good. Not as fresh. <laughs> <laughs> so that was really, really tasty, but I think it is finally time for that ice cream. Well deserved. I know what I'm looking. Same trick King Cone. One dollar ice cream. Happy man. Oh, for a dollar. They are amazing. <laughs> So happy. Oh, and they're so filled the true. whole way to the bottom. I was watching them do it. They're like literally the whole way down. So happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have 15 minutes to meet the light show. So we better move. <laughs> and whenever you come to a set of stairs and you're on a bike, what better way to get down them then? Hop in the lift. The lift. <laughs> We're not the only people doing this as well. We have seen loads of people. The first time we did it, we didn't see anyone doing it. So we weren't too sure how it was going to go. But it's a great job. I've never brought a bike on a lift so, before. <laughs> that's the first. No way, you go. <laughs> Check out this wee guy crossing the road. See you later, buddy. So we've just made it down to the trees here and the grass area was already so packed but we found ourselves a wee spot to chill out and hopefully it'll start very soon. Excited! I'm excited! <laughs> Enjoy the show! much fun we literally made it with about five minutes to spare but there are so so many people we decided to come over here to the grass and watch it from here it really was just gorgeous the lights in the garden were so much fun they were so magical, magical. yeah <laughs> magical yeah magical disney kind of feeling yeah. they were just absolutely wicked we enjoyed them so much but we have just dropped off our bikes we were really really happy what they cost they cost us each ten dollars for the whole day so so which good. was a blast yeah, yeah we so got to see so much because of them yeah. and we definitely recommend getting them there's loads of different companies and like apps that you can download yeah. if you do want to have a go very so easy really up. easy yeah 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 definitely and like the whole city here is just amazing at night time it's so well lit up but now we're going to head and hopefully get some dinner yeah. Once the sun goes down, the city completely changes. Like, near enough, every building has lights coming from it, all different colours, so everything is really, really colourful and just so nice to look at. Well, that was unexpected. <laughs> we were just sitting, like, looking out over the Marina Bay, and next thing you know, a full water show started over at the other side, and it was just so cool. So, so cool. The whole building, the whole Marina Bay building, just started shooting out lasers. There was loads of lights. There was, like, projectors in one of the buildings, and it was just class. There was music and everything. So we got to see a whole other light performance, light show type of thing going on tonight. That we weren't and expecting. We weren't yeah. expecting at all, and it was free, so we can't complain. Buzzing. So many free things to do in the city here. We've been completely surprised, but we are really, really hungry now. It is getting later. It's like half nine, nearly ten. We are starving, so we're gonna go find some food, finally. Let's try not to get distracted this time. <laughs> So for dinner of the night, we've decided to come back towards where we're staying in our accommodation, which is right by the river here in Singapore. And we decided we want to get something takeaway and sit out by the river itself and just kind of chill out there and eat it. So we're literally sitting here right by the water. It is lovely. And as we were walking, we found something that pulled us in. <laughs> something we don't normally do is go to like McDonald's and things like that but whenever we've seen it we were like oh I could do a McDonald's. And none of the restaurants were like massively pulling us in either and we went into the McDonald's we were like oh we'll see how much it is. We spent $20 on 40 cent and we got two double chicken burgers, two chips and two drinks. I'm not going to show you because like McDonald's is McDonald's, you know what McDonald's looks like. <laughs> but it was, we were really really happy with how cheap it was as well. To be honest it was probably the cheapest thing we've seen. We've seen a lot of menus on the walk past, on the walk home and they were yeah. pretty expensive, yeah. So. Like a small pasta dish was probably around twenty dollars. Yeah. And like, yeah, nothing was just pulling us in, but no. we are really excited. So we're gonna tuck into this and then head back to the accommodation, <laughs> I think. And we have just got a wee friend who's coming and joining us. Hey, little turtle buddy. Come on. 
We've got chips for you. Excuse me, I don't share food. So I know we just said we're not going to show you McDonald's because, well, McDonald's is McDonald's, but look at this burger. So good. Insane. If you can feel the weight of this box, I'm impressed. Double chicken here. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> so now we're going to get stuck in. <laughs> We're finally ready to go home after yeah. a great day out in Singapore. We are tired, we are stuffed, and we are ready for bed. We have had an absolute blast here. The city has been so, so good. Just an absolutely amazing place. It's exactly what we thought Singapore was gonna be. It is clean, it is modern, it's cool. It's just a wicked spot all together, and we've loved our time here so, so much. But the big question here is, is Singapore expensive? And the answer is, yeah, there's no avoiding it. It it's is an expensive city. It's a big modern new city. Of course it's gonna be. Yeah, definitely. But on the flip side of that, can you come here on a budget? Absolutely, without a doubt. Today we have just worked out that we have spent a total of 36 Singapore dollars, but that has just been from what we've done throughout the day and we've had a blast. We've done so much, seen so much, and there's so many free things to do here in the city as well, which we couldn't believe and was very, very surprised at. But if you want to include our accommodation, today has cost us a total of $80, which we are still very, very happy about and still within our budget as well. Before we came to Singapore, we were a little bit scared about how the budget anything <laughs> gonna go but it's been perfectly like it's been grand yeah it's been a hundred percent and we're yeah. really really happy with with it and we're really glad that we came but tomorrow we are moving on from here and flying out of singapore to another new country which we are very very excited so about excited. but we're not going to say anything about it now so you're going to have to tune into the next video to find out where we're off to but if you enjoyed this video we would love it if you hit the like button leave us a comment subscribe to the channel and hopefully you'll join us again for more adventures around the rest of the world see you later